Well, hi, this is Sam, in case you didn't know, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a closer look at Chester Cordite's 1930-1940 styled three-piece suit in 100% Irish linen. And of course, I will be reviewing the suit. And I just wanted to say that Chester Cordite and I are in a collaboration together, but I'm still sharing my own thoughts and opinions about the suit. Uh, for some perspective, I have had shirts from Chester Cordite, I think, for six or seven years now this collaboration happened recently together and the perspective of that is that i've had a few years to form my thoughts form my thoughts and opinions about uh, chester cordite because i've always had the experience with that everything he does is in a very high quality uh, and in nice style of course so yeah and I always choose which company to collaborate with myself because I only want to collaborate with companies that has a high quality item has the right styling so a 1930s 40s style and also has a high level of customer service All right so now let's take a look at the suit so here is the suit the color you see me wearing is dark eucalyptus green but you can also get this suit in the shades of sand and new indigo this suit features a single-breasted peak lapel jacket with pleated patch pockets. And here you have the belted action back. The cuffs has nice detailing to them. They're not working cuffs due to the buttonholes not being cut. Having the non-working cuffs gives you the opportunity to shorten the sleeve length from the cuff or from the armhole. Personally, I had the sleeves shortened at the armholes. And here you can see a close-up of the ending of the sleeve. Well, hi there. I thought I would just drop in between the clips because I just wanted to address a question I know I've gotten before and it might come now or if you might just be thinking it. Um, so I know uh, the 1930s and 1940s uh, vintage jackets, they do have uh, well, the question first. The question is, is the arm uh, armholes cuffed lower or higher? So a 1930s, 40s vintage jacket usually have uh, a very much higher uh, cut armhole. Uh, this jacket has not doesn't have it as high as those, but it is pretty high and it's not too low in my opinion. It's just a personal preference. So bear that in mind. If you're thinking about buying a jacket from Chester Cordite or if you're thinking about buying a suit, the armhole will be cut just a little bit lower, but I don't think it's anything that's uncomfortable. I always, be, I have always, before I got uh, this suit, I have always been wearing my 1930s, 40s uh, suits. So for me, uh, I, for, from my point of view, I don't think it was that much of a change, a little bit but I don't think it was anything negative. It's just when you're used to uh, wearing the 1930s, 1940s jackets, uh, you first you just have to get a little bit used to it. It's a little bit lower, but I don't think it really um, is uncomfortable or anything like that. The trousers are high-waisted and are the Belgrave model, which means it has a full-cut leg so they are quite wide. The trouser has deep pleats and also features suspender buttons and belt loops. And of course, I did forget to record this. This trouser features a front pocket where you can either keep your extra change or you can keep your pocket watch. Let's not forget about the waistcoat. It features four front pockets and an adjustable back strap. So what's my thoughts about this suit? This suit is in a very high quality and the craftsmanship is amazing. It has a good period correct cut to it and it really features a lot of wonderful details to it. Being made in high quality 100% samphorized Irish linen means it's great for summer and will last you for a long time. I do like that the trousers has suspender buttons and belt loops because it gives versatility when creating an outfit. What I also really like about this suit is that you can, for example, take the trousers and make sporty and casual outfits with them too. So basically with this suit, you can take individual pieces from it and make many different outfits. That's great versatility for you. 
So if you're looking for a high quality and good period correct suit with amazing craftsmanship, I would recommend you to visit Chester Cordite's website. There will be a link in the description below to the website. All right, so that was the Chester Cordite linen suit. I do hope with this video, I could answer some of your questions. If you had any, if you were on the edge, should I buy a suit? Should I not buy a suit? Should I buy a separate trouser or should I not? I do hope I could steer you in the right direction. So perhaps you might get yourself a chest recorded suit or a pair of trousers or even a shirt. And as I said, if you have any further questions about chest record, I feel free to ask them in the comment field below and I'm going to do my best to answer them. Well, that's about it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and well. Well, bummer, this video has already ended. But guess what? There's a huge selection of different videos on my YouTube channel. Why don't you go check them out? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new here. In the description below, you will find a link to my Instagram page. You will find a link to my Patreon page if you want to support me and my content so I can continue doing what I do. There is also a link to my Buy Me A Coffee profile. Thanks for watching this video. Stay safe and well.